When new versions of RPG Builder comes out, obviously we all want to import them because there are bug fixes, new features, new content and so on. But there is one thing you need to pay attention to, the database folder here. As soon as you started importing RPG Builder in your project and started working in your database, such as anything inside the editor, ability, settings and so on, you don't want to import this database folder because it is going to conflict and override some of your work and that's obviously not something we want, right? So whenever you update RPG Builder to a small version such as 2.0.0 to 2.0.1, something like that, we're not talking about major versions. If you're about to do this, there is another video on the channel. I'm really only talking about those minor updates. So you do not want to import the database on those because like I said, it's going to create issues. So make sure you have this folder unticked. You can find it under Blink, Tools, RPG Builder, Resources, and Database. Just make sure that it is off. You don't have to do anything inside. You can just untick the uh, parent, so like the, the database folder, and it's going to untick everything below it. There is one more thing you want to pay attention to, but this has nothing to do with RPG Builder. It's more of, of a uh, Unity thing in general. It's just making sure that whatever is in those folders, you don't want to override this. In case, let's say, um, up to now, you took the main menu that comes with the demo and you modified it to be your own, right? You don't want Unity to override this main menu. So what I usually suggest people to do is um, to take this main menu scene. So for example, we can find it here. And I will go ahead and control D to duplicate it. And now that we have this one duplicated, I would do all my changes in this one, not in the default one. And what this does is that when you update RPG Builder, it is not going to touch your own main menu scene. It is only going to touch this one. And the cool thing about this is that you can have both your own one and the default one up to date at any time. And this is very useful to go back to the default one to look at what's changed and make sure that yours is still up to date and you might want to port some things over. That's pretty much everything I wanted to let you know for this kind of small update. It's really not complicated, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that you don't do the database mistake. And yeah, let me know if you have any question on Discord and thank you for watching. See you in the next one.